Hey Alexis, guess what I just made? Spiritual bath cleanse. I've been making these all day. They smell so good. This has eucalyptus in it, by the way. All natural bath salts. I know my forehead looks crazy. Don't even know my right now. But, hey. Um, it's eucalyptus, Himalayan salts, natural herbs, and um, that's it. No, it's not going to throw off your pH. You pour a little bit in your tub in the bathtub but you have to clean your tub first once you clean your tub you pour you don't pour the whole thing you pour a little bit like maybe two teaspoons of it and then um you put your candles on your meditation music and you cleanse and you wash off all the negative energy all the negative things that's happening in your life um it cleanses you you say a prayer you manifest everything um so this is what i used and i decided to make them handmade so i'm going to package all of them and I'm going to give you guys instructions on how to do it. Now, Himalayan salt, if you Google Himalayan salt, Himalayan salt does not knock off your pH. But they're super, super clutch. You could travel with them, take them with you. Um, and this is how you prepare it. Right here. So to prepare your bath, you add the salt. While the water is running, you don't use too much. Like I said, it's pretty much like using Epsom salt, but this is natural healing salts. And then it has different herbs in here. These are natural healing herbs. Um, like I said, it does not throw off your pH. So you soak about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and like I said, you need to have a positive vibration when you're doing it. You need to have a, a clear mind when you're doing it. And... Um, I don't have an accent. Incense. Um, yes. Oh, yes. That is. Okay, listen. Let me just address that issue. I was going to do it tomorrow. But I'm going to address it now. Um, so, nobody scammed anybody. I don't scam anybody. Um, I have a policy and my policy was no refunds okay and let me just make something clear since people have amnesia or people don't choose to read when you book an airbnb there's no refunds now if you look on this right here it says no refunds credits only okay this person was booking in july surgery was supposed to be 30 days after that rescheduled four times i've lost out money from four times because i had a bed blocked off for somebody that did not make it okay so read no refunds i've also had a policy on my website that stated no refunds even if my house burnt down closed down whatever it did there was no refunds okay so just want to make that clear. No, 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 no. Y'all missing the point. No. She booked in July. Her her um, surgery was in August. She booked July. Her surgery was in August. She was scheduled twice in August, right? And my recovery house did close down, but she rebooked, she rescheduled again. And I'm like, okay, so when is your surgery? She didn't have a surgery date. And then my house closed. So at that point, and then she called again to reschedule in March, which there's no more house. But either way, there was no refunds. So there's a credit that she was able to get, which would not be the full amount. You'll get one many credits. It's not the full amount. It's a percentage. So, 
it won't be like when you do Airbnb, you don't get all your money back. Sometimes they don't even give you your money back. So they give you a percentage. So I was willing to give a percentage, but some people, you know, just want to be extra and take it to the extreme. So no, I'm not giving the full amount back. No, I'm not doing that because... Yeah, a percentage. Yeah, a percentage, a hundred percent. And I'm willing to. I was willing to do that, but that's just not what was, you know, the response. They want the full amount. Does your point? The point I'm trying to make is, it is now January. The surgery was booked in July. Surgery date was supposed to be in August. Rescheduled twice. I lost out on money numerous times because of that. Because I had the um the bed blocked off. For that particular person, I couldn't sell the bed to nobody else. So when people keep rescheduling, then I lose out. So I've had a policy. People have policies. And when you have a policy, you have to follow it. There's no refunds, credits. But I only gave you a 90-day credit. She went past the 90 days. That's what I'm saying. So... But either way, we're willing to give her a percentage back. So that's like, that goes for anything. That that just goes for the whole thing or anybody that did book. And um, yeah, so. And the house was closed because somebody decided to call the state on me or call whoever, like the property management on me while I was in Egypt. They decided to call them. And um. Yeah, I do. They decided to call them and make me leave out my house in seven days, which was like out of nowhere because people want to hate so much. So there was nothing I could do about it. So. But. That's just how it goes. There's no refund policy. So if you did have a credit further than that, then you get a percentage back of your deposit. And that's just how it goes. Not like you can't get no money back at all. That's not what was stated. That wasn't said. But I don't really want to get into details. Yeah, she did pass the 90. It was like at the beginning of July. So July, August, September. Yeah, July, August, September, October. So a credit money. Crazy. Yes, she kept rescheduling. Like, she kept rescheduling, so I was losing out on money. So it was just like, okay, how many times are you going to reschedule? And then out of nowhere, my house closed. And I'm like, okay, so at this point, you're calling back again to reschedule for March. And I'm like, there's not even a house. So the only thing I could do is give you a credit. But that's just being generous because after a certain amount of time, it's like you can't keep rescheduling. You can't reschedule an Airbnb and get your money back. So, but credits is a credit with either what, if I had the house open, it would be a credit with us. So if you would have, basically, you could change your date and um, you could just use that credit or it would be a credit in obviously money. So you'll get a percentage back of your um, deposit, but not the full amount because that deposit is to hold your spot. Um, to be honest, I don't know if um, if that if it was illegal or not illegal. I'm not really sure um, the depths of it. So, well, I think are y'all like is it slow? Are y'all slow or something? Because like y'all asking me questions, I just answered. My policy says. No refunds, credits. If the house was open, there's two type of credits. You get a credit back, meaning like you get some money back, or you get a credit if the house was open, which there's no house, which you're not understanding. So clearly the only other option is to give a percentage back, but you're not getting the full amount. That's just how it goes. I have a policy and that's it. Just like any other business, but it's just because it's me, this is just what happens. And I'm not about to go back and forth about it. So if you go on Airbnb.com, I want you guys to book and then decide to change your mind four times about your date. And then I want you guys to ask them for your money back. What are you going to do? Call your bank, right? So 
it's a policy. When people came on my site, there's a policy, no refunds. And then at the bottom of my website, in thin, fine lines, there was no refunds at all. It doesn't matter if my house was burnt down, closed down, but I'm just still being generous. And I was like, you know what? I will give you a percentage back, even after you rebooking four times. And my, my I didn't have a recovery house. I had an Airbnb retreat. Thank you, Mecca. So I just wanted to explain that because I think that, you know, the word, like, I don't have no reason to scam anybody. I don't have any reason to do that. Like, I work hard for my money. Everybody else works hard for their money. I don't have time for that. Things happen. I have no control. Unfortunately, I wish my house was open. But, you know... So, go to Airbnb and try to reschedule four times and think you're going to get your money back. Please. No. Okay. Um, I'm just not going to keep responding to the negativity. Like I just said, if you booked in July, my house is open. My house was not closed in July. July, August, September, October, my house was open. You rescheduled. You had a 90-day time frame. If you keep rescheduling, you can't keep doing that. It's just, I just had a strict refund policy because you have to understand what surgeries, some girls like levels were too low and like I would lose out on thousands of dollars because my beds would be blocked off because people kept rescheduling. So I had to do a no refund policy and I had it in thin fun writing at the bottom. It doesn't matter if the house got shut down because technically with recovery retreats or homes, they get shut down a lot in Miami. So I had to have that for protection. But like I said, because it's me and it's Alexis, people just want to run with it. Oh, she took my money. No, I had a policy and that's it. So it's been years. Listen, all we could do is continue to be positive and I don't care like if you guys choose to support me then you guys could support me but if you don't then you don't at the end of the day no nobody died in my house oh no what the hell? see that people would make first of all somebody died in my house I would be in jail like what that's the first I heard that one Yes, I'm willing to do a percentage back. I don't really condone the whole internet stuff, but people love to run to the internet with everything. So you just got to let them have it. But instead of communicating and figure out a solution to the problem, they run to the internet to try to bash me or whatever, because that's the only thing that they could do. But she was offered a percentage back and she said no. So. Thank you. I thought I said no. Yeah, if somebody passed away in your home, like, and it's, like, illegal, no. That's crazy. I need to go look at that, Rachel. Rachel. i never seen that, but that's crazy that they're saying that. Well, unfortunately, I have a policy, and that's just what it is. So, yeah, well, that's why I'm doing my cleanse because pe negative people that's on here, like all you negative energies, you guys need to go cleanse your souls and cleanse yourself because I'm going to continue to cleanse and protect myself and remain positive. And that's it. And yes, she will get some money back. She's not getting all of it, but she'll get some money back because I don't believe in doing that to nobody. But you guys need to stop being so nasty and negative to people. You guys do not get far in life being just nasty. Like, what do y'all get from that? Like, what do you get from calling my life trying to break me down, tear me down? Like, y'all are corny for that. Like, really, just, like, be happy with yourself. Be happy. And I'm just blocking all negativity. And I have also other people on here that's on my team that will be blocking as well, so... So, like I said, I'm doing my cleanse tonight because, oof, child, this live got a little intense. And I'm just going to continue to remain positive. And I'm here to help uplift 
other women i'm not here too that's another reason why i have my recovery house i have my house because i used to go to the house i used to cook for the girls i used to spend the night there i used to vent and talk with these girls and just try to encourage them and uplift them because a lot of girls were going through a lot of um insecurities in my home and so like i don't the last thing i need to do is take from anybody okay i don't need to scam anybody i make more than enough money to do that like i don't have to do that things happen i have a policy and that's just what it is so you guys can call me whatever y'all want to call me thank you always read before paying anything and i have that the crazy thing is i don't have nothing to prove to you guys but my lawyer and my paperwork and my website and my policies are stated right there Anyway, like I said, go get you guys some cleanses. Go cleanse your negativity out. Exactly. Look what happened to... Yeah, exactly. Not one. Baby, you trying to come in here? Oh. Hold on. I was trying to close it without thing, but <laughs> I didn't mean lock you up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's on my charger, babe. Where's your charger? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, you keep taking my chargers. I gave you. No, where's your charger, babe? Babe, why is your pants down? I'm on live. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all the positive people on here. Thank you, Alana. I am. Um, yeah, I just gave away a thousand dollars. Are y'all crazy? Like, really think about it. I just gave away a thousand dollar giveaway to help somebody fix their credit, to help somebody start a business. Do you think I need to take somebody's Thirteen hundred dollars or whatever amount it was, eleven hundred. I don't even know the amount. Do you really think like think about it? It's the principle because I have a policy. So I'm no, I'm not just giving you back everything after I done lost thousands for rescheduling numerous times, but it's like it's a policy. Read it and you follow it. 